It is an open and shut case. It is an event that should have taken place. It broke the law, Prime Minister. And what is so galling about that response? is that the Prime Minister feels no shame for his actions. The public suffer pain and anguish at being kept apart from their families. All the while, the Prime Minister was drinking and laughing behind the walls of his private garden. The public overwhelmingly think that the Prime Minister should resign. Trust has been lost, and the public will not forgive or forget. If the Prime Minister has no sense of shame, then the Tory backbenchers must act to remove them. They know the damage is done. This weak and contentious Prime Minister can no longer limp on. The message from the public is clear. Remove this unfit Prime Minister from office and do it now. Prime Minister. Well, I, again, I just want to uh, thank the Right Honourable Gentleman for his, his, his political uh, advice, which I will take with a pinch of salt uh, since it comes from the Scottish Nationalist Party. Uh, but I think that uh, most people looking objectively at what this government has uh, delivered over the last 18 months would agree uh, that, in, uh, and I, I, I renew my uh, contrition for the mistakes that have been made, uh, but that we have delivered the fastest vaccine and the fastest booster rollout uh, in Europe. And, and the result is that across our whole of our United Kingdom, Mr. Speaker, uh, we have uh, the, uh, a record number of people back in work. Simon Fell.